Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and uh, yeah, today we're going to be looking at how to create this epic scene in Blender under 10 minutes. So let's get started. So I made the character with Make Human since I didn't want to create the character myself from scratch. It would take a lot of time and I didn't want to spend that kind of uh, time on a simple project like this. Uh, also, you can get the project file on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash topchannel one on one. I was going for a more sci-fi scene, so that's why you see me creating this kind of ring uh, to tie everything together into a sci-fi looking scene. Uh, so then I posed the character in the pose I wanted. I also used some reference images uh, from Google. I didn't have them on, on screen here because uh, my screen is too small to have everything uh, on it. Uh, but uh, I was using a reference image, reference images of different models in different poses at uh, pose uh, the character here. It would be very difficult to uh, get a good pose just from your head without using any reference. So I would recommend I uh, do a quick Google search or go to Pinterest or Art Session uh, to see uh, different poses people are using. So if it does not use mesh lighting, so what I did to uh, create emissive light from the meshes from that ring, I added four point lights and uh, gave them the same color of uh, the emissive light I added to the ring uh, so that it creates the illusion that uh, light is emitting uh, from the meshes directly. And I think it gave the character that nice rim light uh, that made things I think it tied the scene a bit nicer here. Uh, I also tried to experiment with different types of rings as uh, you can see here I'm just uh, using this pin tool uh, to duplicate uh, these shapes uh, around uh, the ring uh, but I ended up just using uh, an array modifier because it gives you more control than uh, using the spin modifier since you can't edit uh, that you can't you can't easily edit uh, the different ring the ring itself uh, if you just use the spin bonfire but the array will will uh, let you do that easily uh, so I, here I'm just duplicating the character A quick tip, when you're trying to create an organic pose of a character, you can select multiple bones and uh, change the pivot point to NVIDIA Origins and when you s rotate those bones, uh, they will give you a more organic look uh, than just rotating each bone individually. And this is where Eevee is more powerful than uh, Cycles, uh, the ability to preview uh, the final scene as you're working on it. I can see how I'm pausing while I see how the final pause is going to affect the overall look of the render. Uh, so I also wanted to have a beam in my scene so I added a spotlight and uh, a volumetric object and made sure that uh, the density of the volume was very low uh, so that the, the spotlight beam is more powerful than the environment uh, fog. Uh, to do that I increased the power of the volume, the power of uh, the, the beam from the spotlight uh, by, uh, by 10,000 uh, so that it stands out more than the environment fog. I also wanted the beam to have some shadows in it so I added this plane and deleted parts of it so that uh, they can cast a shadows between, between the volumetric fog or between the light beam so that uh, it breaks it up a bit. Yeah, most of this is just a lot of experimenting and see what works and what doesn't. So I'm just going to let this play for you so that you can see the different processes I took uh, to get to the final scene. And uh, maybe at the end, I'll also play back uh, the final thing, the final render so that you can see the difference uh, where I started and uh, where I ended. Yeah, so if you want to examine the project file, you can find it on my Patreon page. That is patreon.com slash top channel one on one. Or you can get it on my CG Trader store, uh, that is cgtrader.com slash ismilesvfx. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave the time lapse here and uh, so that you can examine the things I'm doing here. Thank you. 